In the Pacific Ocean, there is so much plastic, an area the size of France has formed. Governments have simply ignored it. So we found a way to ensure they couldn't by turning the country-sized trash patch into an official country. Les trash isles. To trash isles. A la isla de plástico. Des îles plus belles. The trash isles. Introducing the trash isles. On World Oceans Day, the Plastic Oceans Foundation and LADPIPE submitted an application to the United Nations to recognize the Trash Isles as an official country. Because under the laws of the UN, other countries are then obliged to clean it up. Declared the part of the ocean where all the trash is gathered, the plastic, the Trash Isles. Has the petition been received and what's your, your take on it? I think it's a very innovative and creative way uh, to bring attention to to a problem that is often not, uh, not seen. Having met the criteria to become a country, the Trash Isles began recruiting citizens online. In the first few weeks, we had more citizens than some countries. The Trash Isles had everything an official country needs. A currency called debris, a passport for new citizens, and a national flag. We even had big name celebrities signing up. I think this is the first honorary citizenship I've had from any emerging nation. Thank you very much. Trash Isles citizenship. Trash Isles. Trash Isles. Some even took on official roles. I'm Judy Dench, the Trash Isles Queen. I will be the best secretary of your defense that I can. With over 200,000 citizens, 50 million video views, and half a billion people reached. The Trash Isles put the plastic problem firmly on the map. I will make reference to the Trash Isles from here on out.